What's up guys, welcome to Invisible Jiu Jitsu, David Morsegal here back with Wukash again. We're going to do a flashback to an MMA fight from 2006 UFC 60, how to armbar Chael Sonnen. Jeremy Horn, one of the, 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 the hidden gems, you know, kind of forgotten about nowadays. But he was coming out of Matt Hughes' camp, uh, Team Militich, and he was submitting everyone in a time when it, it wasn't yet a big thing, this, this whole Jiu Jitsu thing. So Chael got deep into a triangle and Jeremy Horn countered it as uh, Chell tried to escape the triangle. So what happened was, Jeremy Horn had got to this triangle position and Chell had postured and he started trying to push this shoulder through and Jeremy switched, switched, boom! And Chell screamed, tap! Okay, like Chell likes to do. So, let's break this down, let's see what's happening. Chell did the right thing. Oh no, I'm in a triangle, posture, push the arm back through. Yeah, he pushes the arm through all the way through. Oh, well, I'm back in guard now. Okay, he did the right thing. But this was the cool part. I, I'd never seen this before. Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Horn opened my eyes to this technique, and this is why I call it the Jeremy Horn armbar. As he went to push through, all he did was he crossed in front of the neck. All we need to do for an armbar is stop this shoulder moving forward. We've done that now. Okay, I could armbar here. But Jeremy crossed for security and we just raise the hips. We just control the hand. We make sure the thumb points away from us. We have a nice tight armbar. So he threw up the triangle and as he tried to push through, he came in front look. Oh, this is bad. And now I just have to find the direction that his elbow is pointing in. Okay, so I rotate his thumb to make the elbow go in the direction that I can put my hips. Okay, don't let them turn the thumb and don't let them flare out the elbow. So, as I shoot my triangle, he's going to start countering. I go cross and lock if I want. Now from here, his thumb is pointing in that direction. So I could just finish by barring in that direction. Remember, we always push in the opposite direction to the thumb, or I could get my hips involved by turning the thumb away from me, okay? Now it's very important with this triangle that my hips stay high. Because if I get to here, my hips on the ground, this is not an arm bar anymore. I've lost that elbow completely. So it's only gonna work in situations where I've had the triangle and he postures up and I go with him. My hips have to go with him. Cross, cross, this is horrible now, okay? He tries to stack me, all he's going to do is end up in falling into an armbar and screaming on the way down. Okay? Let's just move back a little bit. So, I hit my triangle, and even if he does nothing, he's defended the triangle. Part, just sit back and posture. There. He's defended the triangle now. Okay? Very difficult for me to finish a triangle without bringing him back to me. But even if he puts the arm through or not, I can hit my Jeremy Horn armbar. So, super powerful little counter to a postured triangle, okay? Anytime I can pass that outside leg over in front of his neck to control that shoulder, we can hit this armbar, okay? Remember, that's the important part. Any, tri uh, sorry, any armbar, the important thing is not allowing him to raise this shoulder, okay? I can have what looks like an armbar position but he can raise that shoulder. And we saw this in the pit stop video, okay? The, the video I've posted previously where, where we control this arm. I'll link that in the corner. Here, he now can't raise his shoulder. I can hit my arm bar, okay? And it's the same here. I block in front of that shoulder, now with my shin. He can't push forward to relieve the pressure of the arm bar. Okay, so that's the key principle here, is any armbar is going to work if we control his ability to raise his shoulder out of the armbar to take away the pressure. So, nice counter to the triangle, boom, my hips stay high, I cross, cross, and that's it. I just make sure that hand stays anchored to me, thumb pointing away, and then I put my hips through, and that's where we get the scream out. Okay, so, gather away with this. So thank you very much guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, little throwback to UFC 60. This was 
a, a couple, two or three years, I think, after I'd started training. So it was a very big impression on me. Again, I tend to name things after who was the first guy that I saw do it. You know, I have the BJ Penn pass, I have the Roger Gracie armbar, the Jeremy Horn armbar. I got all these things named after the first person I saw do it, okay? We had the Jacare choke the other day, okay? Uh, I called it the ninja choke. I'll put that in the corner. It's the Jacare choke to a lot of people because the first person they saw do it was Jacare. So if you like the video, if you like the plain white D, like the video and leave a comment, share with all your friends. We'll see you again.